Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale in the last episode. We finally got through the stinking maze of Papyrus and made it to the land of Snowden. In this episode, we are going to explore the town and see what lies in store for us. Okay, a very creepy looking bunny is what lies in store for us. Hello traveler, how can I help you? Buy stuff, I guess? We got, oh geez, a lot of stuff we could get. Uh, tough glove, manly bandana, bicy bicycle, uh, heals 11 HP times 2, eat it twice, so oh, okay, bicycle, so it's a popsicle, but there's two of them. Uh, cinnamon bun, oh, Torio, it's my own recipe. Hmm. Uh, well, this is zero attack, so I shouldn't buy it. Uh... I guess we'll get the manly bandana. Thanks for your purchase. Just looking. Okay. Guess that's it. Talk. Care to chat? Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Uh, what do you do here? You want to know what I do? What to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you could take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you could sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Uh, town history. Think back to your history class. Oh god. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head back to the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been lo locked up for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But, we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we don't get that hope, as long as we got that hope, we can gift our te grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That was not a fart, that was my chair, I promise. That's life, ain't it? Sure. Exit. I guess there's nothing left to do. We could sell stuff, huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I start spending money on it on old branches and use bandages, I'd be out of a business in a jiffy. That is a good point when you think about it. Uh, I guess we'll exit by now. Come again sometime. So we got that shop. Here's the inn if we want to sleep, but we could get free heals right here, so I don't know why we'd want to. Uh, how far in can we go? There's a lot of things stuff here. Okay. A lot of weirdos. Grillbies? I've not seen any of this before. Oh god, there's a lot of stinging stuff to do. We're gonna be exploring this for a long stinging time. Oh, now we gotta walk all the way back. I wish there was a run button. Unfortunately, there's not. Sticking true to the earthbound format. Don't want to walk on the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're officially laid out. Uh, let's try the inn first. Uh, I got another bunny. What do you guys say? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Oh, that's why. What's maximum HP? So I could... Uh, gain HP by going to the inn. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 G. Stay- wait, let me just check real quick. Feel free to come back anytime. So I have 36 HP. How much HP will I get for staying here? Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Yep, I'm sleeping. I'm a-sleeping. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You could pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh wow, that's cool. Uh, we didn't get any HP, but we didn't lose any money because of it, which is also cool. Uh, we can't go up there unless we're staying, I guess. Okay, head on out. And we'll go down here. Whoa! Oh, I get it. It's a fast travel system. I see. Icy, we're probably just sliding around down there in the ice. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? What's with cinnamon? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. 
Awful Teen tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. And that's the true meaning of Christmas! It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo! Yaho! Yaho! No, you're a kid too, right? I could tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I guess that's how it works. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. Okay, that's very specific. That's politics! Uh, let's go into Grillbees. Okay, we got the all the dogs that we've been fighting recently. And some other folk. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and hot guys! Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil! And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body! Disgusting! I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw a bow. Throw us a bone. We love bones. You better watch where you sit down here, kid. Because that big guy will jump on your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I just remember we didn't attach uh, the manly bandana to ourselves. Ooh, with a manly bandana. Okay. Then our stats, we just have weapon, tough glove, armor, manly bandana. What was it before? It was the faded ribbon. And he's just happy. It's a plain, it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Oh, that was you. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Grillby's Grilb said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the er erasure of the local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. Okay then. Jukebox is broken. Talk to the flaming bartender. Wait. Grilb said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Did I talk to you yet? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. So there's really nothing I can do in here. Okay, go to the bathroom? Nope. Guess we're heading out. This was just for flavor text. Uh, can't do anything here. Can we talk to you? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be more why, why be morose about it? <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, over here is the library. Uh, you look somewhat familiar. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wait, it was? L-I-B-R-A-R library. Okay, I didn't even notice. The library, yes, we have the I was wondering if he'd be like, uh -huh, got you or something. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assi assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monsters' souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Yeah, because humans are evil. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer we- Wait, I should probably be reading them in the reverse order just get out of here over here it's a school report about monster funerals monster funerals technically speaking are cool as heck when monsters get old and kick the bucket they turn into dust at funerals we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing then their essence will live on in that thing uh am i at the page minimum yet i'm kind of sick of writing this so when toriel died she turned into dust and did she spray onto us? Like, we were her favorite thing? Oh, I feel bad. 
Oh, while monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Okay. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes and do in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler of the intentions of enemies, the more the crueler the intentions of enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end this chapter here. So could I have saved Toriel there in that- I'm just never gonna stop thinking about that. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searching heat, and scorching heat, until we reached what we now call the capital, new home. Again, Arcane is really bad at names, question mark, sure. I didn't notice you before. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Oh, he knows, the word is spreading. Over here we got a very stuffed mailbox. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Oh, how sad. Look inside. It's gonna be empty. It's empty, yep. And I assume the other one is for Sans, I guess? I don't know. Uh, that's just the teleporter back to the beginning. This is their house, presumably, so we'll go in there last. Uh, it's locked from the inside, okay. And this is the end of the town. Don't want to go there just yet. Let's go into, presumably, Papyrus's house. And see if he's home. It's locked. Look through the window. Wow, he's really just not home. I guess we're done here in Snowden. Guess the episode's over. Nah, not really. We'll keep going. Hooray, we made through the entire area without any puzzles. This, hey, wow, this looks really cool. Literally, it looks cool and I can't see anything anymore. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover! The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills! The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool! These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way! After all, I am very great! I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like! I pity you, lonely human! Worry not! You shall be lonely no longer! I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are human. I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! Oh god. What? We're fighting him? Are you serious? Oh god. No, 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 no! I don't know how str- Oh wait, I have 38 out of 36 HP, so I did get more HP from that healing segment. Cool. Uh, but I don't want to kill Papyrus! Ugh. Uh, flirt in song and flirt with them. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Well, that's, well, actually both of these fit me to a T. Okay, then. Uh, I can make spaghetti. Oh, no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I capture you! Okay, very lame attack. Papyrus would be a terrible fighter, because he's a terrible puzzle maker as well. Thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh, I don't want to insult him, flirt again. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you! Doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything. Just wondering. <laughs> What if I insult him? How selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you! I don't deserve such hospitality from you! Oh god, something tell- There's gotta be a way to not- Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. 
Uh, flirt? You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate the battle. Uh, his bones were shorter that time. Dab's marinara sauce behind his ear. Okay. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Yep, I sure can. This is called gameplay! One more. Oh, what? You're blue now. Wait, I don't understand what that means. So, oh, reverse psychology. So, if I'm blue, then I should be immune to everything, but I don't know. That's my attack. Yeah. You're all blue now. Uh-oh, this is awkward. Uh, Papyrus, we're gonna flirt. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's stay later after I capture you. I just could barely jump now. Okay, so it's sort of tougher. Dab's MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. What the fruit? Insult. Papyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. What? I'm not thinking about that. Jump. Oh, jeez. I keep thinking to press X to jump, but no, it's press up to jump. Oh, jeez. Oh god, okay. Spare, hold up. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez, yes, I get it, but. Okay. What now? Papyrus dabs into T Grand Direction, slime behind his ear. What the fruit? Check. Papyrus attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Well, I'm a bit too late for that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! Come on. Okay, cool. Beauty yogurt behind his ear. He doesn't even have stinking ears! Oh, uh, what do I do then? Can I even fight when I'm blue? I can almost taste my future popularity! Uh, go over here, here. I'm gonna be really up. Wait, can I do it? Does that turn me back to normal? What the fruit, you jerk? He realizes he doesn't have ears. Yeah! He's singing dope. Papyrus, head of the royal guard! Oh god, this is difficult! Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettator! Ugh. Oh, come on! Wait, what is it? Papyrus is trying to ha so hard to play cool. Flirt. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Fine. Undyne will be really proud of me! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Just keep on jumping. I swear to God, if I end up killing him, I'm gonna be singing angry, but I don't know what else to do in these fights. Prepare a bone attack. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile! Because we got like, we don't have like a sword type weapon anymore. We have a punching glove, so we gotta punch multiple times. Trying hard to play it cool. My brother will! Well, he won't change very much. Okay, he's got a lot of singing HP, but I'm afraid of like, if I get in the middle, will that kill him in one hit like it did last time? I don't know. One way to find out. Well, that was sort of in the middle. I'll have lots of admirers, but... But what, buddy? Okay, go... Oh, god darn it. Oh, jeez. So low on HP. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Well, there. I went right in the middle. So, that, that leads me to believe that killing Toriel is inevitable. Because I just did it, and it didn't do anything. Uh... Ooh, it maybe only works with Toriel. I don't think I know. I'm always gonna be thinking of like what I did wrong, what I could have changed. No, it's too difficult. Oh, uh, should I heal? I'm gonna regret this probably. Someone like you is really rare. Uh, okay. Uh. Oh God, oh, Jesus. 
Fire resist cackling. Okay. And dating might be kind of hard. Okay, one more. Okay, I was, I was ready for that one jerk one to show up. And just 46 again. After you're captured and sent away. Oh jeez, that was a very singing- CLOSE ONE! Oh, 2 HP. Items, what do we got? We got a bandage, I don't know, butts pie- what? Butterscotch pie, so it says butts pie. It doesn't tell me what it does though. Like, nice cream. Oh, where did we get the nice cream? That was so far away. Uh, we could eat it. No, that was the bicycle. God darn it. Hmm. I'll use the bandage. Reapply the bandages. Still kind of gooey. Recover 10 HP. Ugh! Who cares? Give up! Uh, yeah. uh, bone, 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 bone. Pyrus is trying hard to play cool. I wanna get out of here. Go up or face my special attack. We also can't run away here. I just realized we could run away with Toriel, but we weren't allowed to run away. I don't know why I can't jump. It smells like bones. And okay, that was directly in the middle and didn't kill him. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack, so I feel like killing Toriel is inevitable. Which makes me believe that she's gonna come back or something like that. Oh jeez. Uh 42. Too long, I will use my special attack. I don't want you to. I really don't want you to use your special attack anymore. Oh jeez. Uh, uh, considering his options. I can't do anything. Uh I'll use this nope. No, that's not no that we want to keep that forever. So butts pie. Nice. Let's try the nice cream. You're just great! Yours covered 15 HP, how nice. This is your last chance! Before my special attack! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh god, is it my fault for like not killing him quick enough now? Pyrus is trying hard to play cool. Let's just attack! Behold! My special attack! D doggy. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Oh, I'm gonna use a really cool regular attack. God darn it, why can't I do anything? Oh, here's an absolutely normal attack. But... I, I don't want to continue the fight. How do I win these fights against the bosses? That's what I want to know. I don't want to kill Papyrus. The game was advertised I could get through without... Cool. Dude. Skateboarding bone, sure. What the fruit? Okay. Interesting. Why? And there's just one. There's- it's a trap. <laughs> okay, or it's just funny. And there's gonna be a super quick one, right? Well, I- oh, It's clear you can't- oh, Defeat me! Yeah, I could see you shaking in your boots. Should've said shaking in your bones. Therefore I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity! I will spare you, human! Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. So I could end the fight or I could kill him. This is where the option comes in. I So I feel like it's impossible to not kill Toriel in that moment. I No, I'm sure there is because like, that's the whole point is that like they said, you could get through the entire game without killing anyone. Hmm. Maybe there's like just some exceptions where like, it's sort of like with Chulip how it was like, you could kiss everyone in the game. The goal of the game is to kiss everyone, but there are some people where you can't kiss and I was like very disappointed. But whatever, getting off topic, let's just show mercy. Yo, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. 
What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to get people off of puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yo! <laughs> Well, that was something. I think we're gonna go back to town, heal up a little bit, get some items for the road, and have our date with Papyrus before heading out. This was an eventful episode, I'll say that much. Yep, you know he's right there, he's staring at us. Just let me go back and heal. I know I should've used the igloo. Go back over here, ride the magical igloo of specialness. Woohoo! 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 Go into the inn, heal up, welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel, when I is AG, stay. Here's your room key, make sure to bundle up. <laughs> Face down this time. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is inc incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back, you can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. So, yep, back to 38 out of 36 HP. And I guess we go into the shop real quick. We could buy... We'll buy some bicycles. And a cinnamon bun. Now we're at full HP though, so... Or full inventory, so I should probably put things away. Let's go into our little storage box and put the stick in there. Put the toy knife, faded ribbon. And I guess that'll be good to go. Save the game real quick. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save the game. And time for our date with Papyrus. This could only go over well and totally not some sort of trap of some kind. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh, I forgot that was a northern path I never even checked. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> MY HOUSE! I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, hopefully I won't get in trouble for walking away right now, but I just completely forgot that this path existed. Oh god, there's even more to this town that I never even got to see! There's a creepy looking wolf. Uh, what is he doing? He's making ice blocks into the water. Okay. Interesting. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Uh. Okay. How do you play? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Is that a rock with a mustache? You aren't gonna make me the be the human again, are you? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Uh. Okay then, interesting. Nothing over here. Go up here. And dead end, cool. Back into Papyrus' house, let's see what it's like. I eh, got a pretty snazzy place here, dude. This is my brother's pet rock! 
He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. This rock is covered in sprinkles. Uh, whoa, what the? Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Uh, here is... That's my room. If you have finished looking around, we could go in and... Do whatever people do when they date. Yo -ho -ho -ho! Nope. I don't want a piece of the bone just yet. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Sans room? The door is locked. Uh, really, what is this game rated? Because are we actually going to bone the skeleton? I don't know, and I don't know if I want to. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please pursue my culinary art show! Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half it contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time! Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Oh, I thought it was like a door. I didn't even see the thing on the top of it. It is a sink! Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> what the fruit, Sans? Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! So, can we actually catch the dog? I don't think we can. Is the day over? Oh god, I want to know what happens, so fine. We'll go, he, you know, knowing him, it's not actually going to be what I think it is. He's going to do something. We're going to like play card games up there or something. Go inside. I'm going to regret this, but sure. Of course, he has a pirate flag in here. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. A uh, computer? The internet. I'm quite popular there. <laughs> oh my god, it's like, did he, pre did he predict his own popularity in the game? I don't know. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has its steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media website. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Hundine found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theatrical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. What? Yeah, that's right. Santa! Oh, I was like, that... Okay, that makes sense. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my... Wind in... Wind in my hair. What the fruit? Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Yo! -ho -ho -ho! Look inside the closet? Of course. Clothes are hung up in neatly inside. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Sure. Okay, dating start! What the fruit? I didn't think it was gonna be another battle dating start. Here we are, on our date! 
I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. What? I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press your controller triangle button for a dating HUD. Thursday. Crime. What the fruit? Wow, we. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Reel it in, population, egg, what the fruit? Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem, human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure. <laughs> really? Whoa, wee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on a nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Bested me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me, hold a date! Behold! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? Now I know where the cool dude shirt comes from on fangamer.com. Hashtag shameless plug. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag sponsor me anyway, fangamer. Love you, bae. Thanks for all the ca fangamer memories. No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> <laughs> You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with X. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah. Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present! A present j just for you! Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Oh wait, is it not spaghetti? Right, but also wrong. This ain't just plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silicon spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it off of his head. That's the sexiest stinking thing I have ever said. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! It's clear now! You are madly in love with me! Everything you do! Everything you say! 
It's all been for my sake! Human, I want you to be happy too! It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you! Hi, Papyrus! Hi. Um. Boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me! A dark prison of passion with no escape! How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human, I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being cool! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this all never happened! After all, you are very great! It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips! And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second best. No! <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need me, if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Yo -ho -ho -ho! Okay, I love this game. Next time on Undertale, we're going to do something that cannot possibly ever top what I just experienced. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.